My biggest passion is the ocean. So today I'm super excited because there's a brand new aquarium in Port Louis in Mauritius. So we have opened officially since the 6th of September of this year. And uh, it's been very exciting because the public is there, is coming. And uh, we have uh, people every day, even on the weekdays, more than uh, what we expected. These aquariums and oceanariums are, of course, extremely important as well for the future of our oceans. Odysseo is an educational tool to raise awareness on all the problems that the environment is facing nowadays and try to make them love what they will see and better protect it in the future. One of our conservation program is the restoration of coral reefs. We have started a program here in Odysseo with a live reef tank. So we are keeping a kind of library of all the species of corals that exist in Mauritius to be sure that if ever one of them disappear, we still have a specimen here. So now we are practicing coral gardening on these species. We are trying to make them grow so that we can reintroduce them in the wild afterwards. Tell us a bit about the design and the colours of this building. The façade cladding uh, has been uh, inspired by the nautil, which is a, a shell that lives in the sea. And uh, we tried also to keep the colour as close as possible uh, as corals are, and even the patterns with the different holes to make it feel like coral in, in, the, in the sea. I hope people enjoy it and, uh, because it's a very technical cladding actually and it has been quite difficult to fix it but uh, the shape is quite nice. This aquarium is particularly impressive because it really showcases the true Mauritian ecosystems. Everything that we showcase at Odysseo exists in the Indian Ocean. The project is um, 95% made in Mauritius. We have had foreigners to help us on the project only where we can't have Mauritians to do it. You've seen on the top of a main tank we have this view of uh, uh, the northern islands. We have a wreck inside the main tank which is a replicate of the saint Geron, which is a wreck that uh, sunk on the east coast of Mauritius. We try to make everything for people to, to feel in Mauritius. When one enters the aquarium, there's a story that one follows about someone coming to Mauritius and entering the sea. So you will enter the first zone, which is the lagoon ecosystems. You have the beach, you have the mangroves, you have the seaweeds, you have the coral reefs. And then the person gets on land and climbs the, the hill. So you can see that we have a small forest area where we have uh, freshwater tanks reptiles and insects. There we try to focus on uh, invasive species and try to inform the public about the danger of importing species that don't live in Mauritius. And as we are in Mauritius, as soon as you climb the hill, you always see the sea. So we have made an open place where you can see the sea from, from the hill. And then when we get back down the hill, we simulate a diver going behind the reef and going down and down and down in the, in the sea. A kind of immersion in the ocean. We go through the tunnel and we have this feeling of, of really being in the sea, seeing all the ecosystems of uh, the reefs and going deeper and deeper and deeper. Possibly the most impressive section of this entire aquarium is when one goes through that tunnel and you really feel like you're being immersed in the ocean. And look at this amazing couch where you can literally lie down and just watch the whole world go by. Honestly, I could spend all day, every day here. There's also a sea lab which is important for education. It consists of a dry lab and a wet lab for schools and for housing workshops. 
What fascinates me too is actually what goes on behind the scenes in the control room. We control the quality of the water every day at all times. All of this is vital for the correct water parameters to keep these sea creatures in good health. We don't have the problem with climate change in the aquariums because we keep the conditions stable. The animals are really cared for carefully here. These bioballs are used to do a culture of bacteria. So these are chillers. There's also an impressive quarantine centre here which I had the privilege of taking a look at. <laughs> His name is Papaya. These are our quarantine tanks. So when we uh, capture fish, we bring them here first, just to make sure that they are in good health before we transfer them to the exhibit tanks. So here we are doing a reproduction of uh, jellies. So what you can see in the tanks here are baby jellyfish. From here, it's a process of moving the baby jellyfish into a series of other tanks until they're big enough to be moved into the main display tank. The jellyfish live between seven to 10 months only. And of course, I'm particularly interested in these jellyfish. In fact, that might have been my favorite part of the entire aquarium. And look, I found Dory. So which is your favorite sea creature? I love all animals under the sea, but if I must take one out of it, it would be the sharks. The number of sharks responsible for death on humans per year, do you know the number? Probably something like eight. It is 10, actually. And do you know how many sharks the human kills per year? 100 millions. So sharks should be scared of humans and not humans scared of sharks. So we will have a program here, just behind me, in the pools. We will have a program which is called Encounter with the Sharks. We will try to bring people inside the water with the sharks to demystify jaws and uh, teach them about the importance of the sharks in the ecosystems and what would happen if sharks disappear from the planet. So of course, we have very nice sharks here. It's zebra sharks, they are very friendly. So I hope people will love this experience and they will have time to learn and hopefully people will respect them more than they do today and they will not be scared anymore about sharks. And what about the future of these reefs? Unfortunately, 75% of the reefs in Mauritius are dead. But there's hope, there's hope with coral gardening, there's hope with behavior change of human beings, stop polluting the rivers. Everything happening upstream finishes downstream, as we know. So even people in the cities, they have to behave differently now. Stop plastic pollution. All these things is very important. And this is what we try to teach to people at Odiseo. And uh, yes, there is hope. If people want the change, they can be the change. Be sure to check out the Odisseo website, that's odisseomauritius.com because there's a ton of information on there and you can also book your tickets online. The best part was probably seeing the baby puffer fish and the jellyfish, I really enjoyed that. So that is this brand new aquarium and I tell you what, I'm smiling from ear to ear because I know I'm going to be spending a lot of time here. So I just want to say thanks so much to Stefan for taking the time to chat to me and I will check you on the next video. See ya. Thank you.